Facebook and, and Twitter and, and the different things okay. for uh, info about you. Yeah. Pretty much every comment uh, was from female, and it was OMG or he is so... Have you read some of those? Some of them. Yeah. Know, I try not to look at it too much, you know what I mean? So, I try to keep it reeled in, keep it in its cage, sort of. <laughs> keep your ego in check. Yeah. Is it tough working in a role where you're working backwards, kind of, because you're, you're working from death in this darkness? Oh, oh, well, you know, he's coming at some point, so, I, you know, I'm just going to... I'll take him on now. You know what I mean? Let's just get right to it. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go right at him. Okay. <laughs> I felt like an underdog filming the movie. You know what I mean? Uh, and I kind of like playing it that way. Okay. Yeah. You did all right. Uh, let's see. I, I noticed that one interview you said bring an extra pair of pants. Now that means <laughs> you're going to shat yourself. There's a chance of that. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's nuts, man. I mean, like, the 3D brings this into your face. You know, you're not allowed to spectate in this film. You know, you're so just in it. You know, it, it, it's like standing in the corner looking into the room. You're not like watching live TV like most movies are. So I think this 3D is so, do, do great stuff for, for just movies in general. Last uh, last question for Nick O'Bannon. 15 seconds. We need that focus and that drive right there in the camera. We need to say what? Why everybody should go see Final Destination 3D. I think if, even if you're not a fan of the horror genre, this movie is historical for one because it's 3D that's never been used before. But this is an 82 minute long just roller coaster and you will need a second pair of pants to go. So go see it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Mueller Shave Bar. Be a man. Dump the can.